Welcome to clickmyprojects.com. The title of this paper is RIHT, a novel hybrid IP traceback scheme. This comes under the domain network security. The main issue in network is securing the data. Since internet has been widely spread, more concentration have to be made on network security because the adversaries, that is the attackers, often hide themselves by spoofing their own IP addresses and then they launch attacks to the networks. To trace the main source of these attacks, many existing systems have proposed packet logging schemes. Packet logging is nothing but storing the information about the packet and about the path in which it has been sent. Some applications combine packet logging along with the packet marking scheme. Packet marking is nothing but in each router along the path the packet is marked by applying packet marking algorithm and its information is stored then it is sent to the neighboring router. The combination of these two are said as the hybrid IP traceback schemes. In our proposed system, we propose a new hybrid IP traceback scheme with an efficient packet logging and packet marking algorithms. In our scheme, packet logging is assumed to have a fixed storage space for each router. Since it has a fixed storage space, then there is no need for refreshing the table often like in the existing systems. The packet marking scheme in our proposed system uses an efficient algorithm that marks that finds the PMark value that P mark value. This value is stored in the hash table, that is the interface table. Uh, let us consider a network that consists of some routers and LANs. The LANs uh, communicate with each other with the help of these routers. The routers are the degree of each router is counted and stored in a table, that is the upstream interfaces for each router is stored and it is stored in the interface table. The number of routers that are connected to a single router is called as the degree of each router. The upstream interfaces that is the path in which the router has to go is known as the upstream route uh, interfaces. Then these details are stored in the interface table. Now I am going to explain about our proposed system. First we consider a set of routers and a set of LANs. This is as a network. The LANs are connected with one another by means of the routers. The routers details are stored in a table that is the upstream interfaces for each router is stored in an interface table. So with the help of that interface table we define the path between two LANs. A single router can, uh, can be uh, connected with either to a uh, LAN or to a router that is uh, a, while a packet is sent to sent to another LAN, it is traversed along a router's path. A border router will receive the packet from the LAN and it, and it passes to its neighboring router. When it receives the packet, it applies the PMARC algorithm and calculates the PMARC value. This value is stored in a hash table with an index. Uh, it, after uh, calculating the PMARC value, it checks with the capacity of each router that we defined earlier. If the PMARC value is not greater than the capacity, then it passes the, the packet to its uh, next router. If it is overflow, then it uh, refers the hash table and takes the index of its previous router, uh, previous router and uh, then applies the PMARC value. This is done and until the destination is reached. Why after reaching the destination the packet is checked whether it is attacked or not. The attacker may enter into an another LAN with the help of some other router that is not specified in the path. So the, so the destination will request for a path reconstruction. The path reconstruction is nothing but requesting for a new path that through which the attacker cannot enter into the network. The new path is uh, the new path is also uh, repeated with the same things that is applying the premark algorithm along the path and reaching the destination. Now I will explain the flow of this project. The first is the network construction. The network construction is nothing but constructing a set of routers and the LANs uh, according to the user's uh, request. The number of routers the, is depends upon the request of the user. Then the path selection. Path selection is nothing but selecting a path that is defining a path for uh, transformation between two LANs. The path varies according to the number of routers and the LANs which we select for 
transformation then packet sending packet sending in packet sending we select a packet that is a file or maybe a packet for transferring between one lan to another lan the the packet is sent along the path which we selected above next packet marking while the packet is sent along the path at each router the packet marking algorithm is applied and the pmark value is calculated if the uh, and calculated and it is sent to the destination at destination if the if attack is found it requests for a path reconstruction and the again the packet is sent uh, the next time also the packet marking algorithm is applied at each router and it uh, the same process is repeated if no attack found the packet is received and the contents of the packet can be viewed in detail we can see here Uh, network construction network construction deals with creating routers creating the interface table and establishing the connection between the routers and lans interface table defines the degree of the routers that is the number of routers connected with a single router and also upstream interfaces of a router then packet sending we select a packet for sending along the path then the path construction and we send the packet along that path next packet marking and algorithm marks each router interface number along the path that is mark the pmark value along the path and calculates the value and store it in the hash table repeating uh, this hash table is uh, referred at each time repeat this marking algorithm until it reaches the destination if any attack is found is uh, is found at the destination then it requests for a path reconstruction Now I am going to show the demo for this project. Open the project in NetBeans and also start the web server database. Uh, in, after opening the project in NetBeans, click sa.java and click run file. The file will be run and we specify the number of routers we want in this. Then click next. The number of routers. If we click draw, the number of routers will be drawn. Then the uh, communication between these routers will be drawn, and the distance is also displayed. Then we click LAN. Then three LANs are drawn. If we click next, then we select the source LAN and the destination LAN. If we click path, it shows the path between uh, LAN three and LAN one. It shows the degree of the each router. Then after clicking next, we specify the source IP. and the port number then we select a packet that is a file to send along the path we can choose any of the file in your folder and you can click send in this if you frame the select the only the path will be uh, alone will be constructed if you click send the packet is sent from the lan 3 to r7 r7 to r5 r5 to r4 then then to r1 then now uh, attacker is reached to the r1 through the, with the help of the router r2 and the lan 1 receives that uh, packet with the attack if we the click okay and send reconstruction and send request for path reconstruction if you click request we will find the router which is attacked uh, it here it shows that r1 is the attacked router this is implemented this is found with the help of the uh, packet marking algorithm then click okay then change the path if we frame if we click frame the new router r3 is constructed that is a uh, path reconstruction is made and uh, it is sent to the lan 1 now it shows that packet sent successfully if you click okay then you click view uh, that you can click the receive button the packet is received successfully okay and uh, next if you click view the contents of the packets will be shown and the size of the packet will be uh, will be shown here that Thus, by constructing the network with a set of routers and LANs, we came to the conclusion that our proposed scheme can efficiently trace the source of attack uh, than any other existing systems. Thanks for listening.